Hey y'all and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot. I'm going to do this reading on Rachel Morin. She was 37 years old and she was found on a hiking trail on August 6, 2023. She was reported missing after she failed to return home from her hike. Her vehicle was found parked near the hiking trail and she is from Hartford County, Maryland. Two of Cups. So I do not know if she was going there to meet someone. The Two of Cups is communication. It's emotional connection to someone. This could have been a new person she was meeting, a new love, somebody um, that she was meeting there to hike with, that they were friends, and now it's become a relationship. Um, but I do feel like she was going there to meet someone. Um it's kind of a, a odd time of the day, I would think. It's like, I think she said they went the, in the evening. Maybe it's not an odd time. I don't know. I, w I would think later in the evening would be an odd time to go. But she was meeting someone there, I feel like, because the Two of Cups is here. So this is like an offer, like uh, like they were one asking for her to come there and meet them. So the Ten of Cups came with that. So that's, so I, I feel like this was a, she wanted to go. I feel like she had been waiting on this, kind of like um, waiting on them to contact her and because it had been a little bit, I think. So I feel like she was waiting on this. This was something she wanted, you know, like it was a wish come true. She had been waiting on this person to contact her. Um, and she was excited about it. Um, you see the rainbow and and with the with the ten of cups and you see it's a couple there so i kind of feel like she, this was a new relationship and she was excited about it she wanted to take it further i feel like three of swords so three of swords is deception deceit broken heart um so it is the end of something i kind of feel there's a couple of things here for one thing i feel like they didn't want the same thing she did so that kind of broke her heart i don't feel like they were they weren't meeting her there for the same reason she thought they was um so i think there was there was miss on her part she wanted a relationship and a family, and, I, and on their part, I don't think they did. So, um, I, I feel like they met her there to tell her that, and she was thought it was something else. So, I feel like she knew this person that she met on the hiking trail. Yes, Ace of Wands. So Ace is telling me, yes, she did know that person. Um, the Wands is like pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty quickly moving. So I don't, I think she was kind of surprised. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. I think she was kind of surprised at the quick actions of this person. Um, I kind of think they came up on her. I think when she went, when she went, hiking on i don't know if she was jogging or walking but i feel like they can't they came upon her at a different area of where she was was supposed to meet them why well, is the ace of wands here the world <clears throat> so the world card <clears throat> is everything you're everything this can also this is also okay excuse me, a Capricorn card. So this can be an Earth card. I do not know when her birthday was. And she could have been meeting a Earth sign. But this was like, for her, this was her whole world. This was everything 
this was she was looking forward to this she was depending on this this was something that she was excited about um and and it did end her whole world this meeting did change it just took everything from her like with the three of swords it's the ending it was the end of her whole world Up too many one at a time. Death. So that is the ending of something and the beginning of something new. So <clears throat> death card will always bring the end of something, but it always brings a beginning after that. So this could also have been bringing a change to her. She a change she knew would make a lot of things in her life change, and she, but I feel like she was looking forward to it. Um, but with the death card being here in the world card, I feel like it was, you know, and the three of swords, this was, we know that she um, was killed on the hiking trail. We know she was found there, found there, it was foul, it was foul play on the hiking trail. The death card um, does do, does mean changes though, but I feel like it is signifying you know what happened on the on August twenty on August six, twenty twenty three. Two of Wands. So I guess the decision was made because Two of Wands there's such a glare. I know I gotta change my light. Um the Two of Wands is about making a decision. Um it's time to make a decision. So I feel like um she had she had went there and she thought that's what they were going there for but i feel like when they met on the trail this person felt this was time their time to act on their decision because they i feel like they had been kind of putting her off and kind of um beating around the bush and putting her off and she was wanting an answer she, i feel like she was wanting to let people know that they had a relationship together kind of come out with their relationship like as they were a couple and this person did not want that so the king of swords this is your truth seeker um the king of swords is like justice finding answers getting information um only want seeking the truth information. The King of Swords is a very strict kind of person. Very can be very. Um, uh, they're they're just not they're just not a, an emotional king. They're kind of like um, very strict and very to the point. Um, so and they're they're about justice. They're they're they have the sword. So they're about justice. They follow along those lines of information. Um, but I feel like the with the King of Swords being here, it's like some it's like the this isn't the person she met. This is the people trying to find out what happened to her on the hiking trail. I do feel feel like they've been working on it. And I think they have someone arrested for that, but I don't know if they've got um I don't feel like they've got all enough information to um make it stick with with him being the one that is responsible for for Rachel's death. I don't feel like they've got enough information as far as that goes. And the eight of wands. So yeah, I feel like they're trying to head in a different direction. Or they need to head in a different direction because I feel like they don't have enough facts. So I feel like they need to head in a different direction because I feel like I really do feel like the person they have there may not be the person they're looking for. So Eight of Wands is heading in a different direction. So I think they need to look elsewhere on who um, is responsible for Rachel Morin's death. I feel like they need to look in a different direction.
So the Three of Pentacles is here. So I feel like this person planned it. Um, of course, they, I feel, like I said in the beginning, I, thought, I felt like she was meeting someone and they had planned on meeting on the trail. Um, so I think this was planned. Um, it could have been planned by three people. Um, so I do feel like I do feel like other people know what happened. Um, I'm almost feeling like the guy that they have <clears throat> arrested is involved somehow, but not directly involved. Um, I just don't feel like he's the one that has that. I just feel like he's involved in it. Kind of, kind of like he's been put involved in it because he was, <clears throat> he was one of the three that that was in the planning of her of her meeting with this other person on the. So that it would be her, the person she met, and one more person is what I'm trying to say. So <clears throat> I feel like somehow he's tied to it, but I don't feel like he directly is responsible. So the Page of Swords. So there is someone that knows. Because um, the Page of Swords can be somebody between the ages of 25 and 35. Um, the Page of Swords is very curious. They search and they find information. They're nosy. The Page of Swords can be somebody nosy. Um, this can be somebody that's spying and listening in on to conversations. This can be somebody that's um, secretive and getting, you know, they getting question, they're getting answers, but they're on doing it, you know, like on the down low, and they're very secretive about it. Um, <clears throat> and they're also inexperienced in what they're doing, so they're seeking answers and they're seeking information, information, but they're secretive and they're in it and experiencing it which is kind of may get them um may get them caught or may get them questioned or it may they may have to come forward with some answers because of their curiosity if that makes sense let's get one last card The wheel of fortune so this is karmic this is wheel turning this is um cycles um so with the karmic wheel being here and the cycles turning um it's like like not it's also destiny but it can also be um like you're in control of your will and you and you or you determine which direction it goes. And I feel like this was like when she went on that hiking trail, this was part of her planning for the future. This was part of her going in the direction she wanted to. That's what she thought she was doing. She was planning for the future. She was, her wheel was turning and she was planning her life. And that's just not what, what happened. Um, I do feel like th with justice, there may be some justice for her down the road. I feel like it's going to take a little while for this to happen. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be like quick justice. I think it's going to take a little bit. <clears throat> I feel like her case is going to take a little bit before it comes out. Um, who is responsible for her? <coughs> Excuse me. Who is responsible for her murder? One last card on Rachel Moore. Will Rachel get justice? Will Rachel get justice? Rachel 
so the eight of swords is here so i asked would rachel get justice and this is like eight of swords is like somebody's bound somebody's thinks they're bound and they're um restricted from giving information like they're being kept there they've got some information but they're they're holding it um because they feel like they have to hold it like they're indebted to somebody to hold this information um, so I kind of feel like if they would give this information, it would help the case a little bit. But they're not really bound to keep the information, but I think the person has made it, made them think they are. It's made them um, feel like they, they, they owe it to them. You can't tell this, you can't give this information out because you owe it to me, is the kind of, is, is what I'm getting from that. Um, but I do feel like it's going to be a little while before she gets justice. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, it's going to take someone coming forward and saying something, I believe. Um, and I feel like they they need to head in a different direction because I'm kind of getting mixed things on if, he, if the person they've arrested is involved. I think it's kind of... Um, I, I don't want to exactly call him a patsy, but I, I feel like he's indirectly connected to it if that makes sense so thank you for watching the video today i hope you all have a great day and love and light and bless be